Our next student is Jackie Leo from the Department of Organizational Leadership, Policy and Development. Before I came to the US, I was a Chinese culture trainer at the British Embassy in China. My job was to train diplomats Chinese. A trainer in an organization is like a teacher, but different from teachers at school, a trainer cannot fail the trainee, but the trainee can fire the trainer immediately. <laughs> so at first, at British Embassy, nobody regarded me as a professional. They just called me little girl. Of course, no one would follow a little girl's training. And actually, none of my predecessors had worked as a trainer there for more than one year. Every morning, the way people greeted me was not good morning, how are you? It was, are you still here? <laughs> and I told this to my mom, and my mom said, look, I'm retired, but still people call me little girl. What can you do with that? You are just a little girl. However, I did something. I started to call myself teacher. Whenever I introduced myself, I said, hello, I'm teacher Liu. And teacher likes students' performance. When I wrote emails to my trainees, I always started with uh, dear students and ended with teacher. At first, my trainees were very resistant. They laughed at me. Who do you think you are? And my mom was so scared, you will lose your job. They are the bosses. Who do you think you are? But I thought, I'm a teacher. I just call myself teacher. For three months, nobody came to my training. And after three months, my training started to come back to my class. And once they started to call me teacher, they also accepted their identity as a learner. And they even trained their contacts, colleagues, to call me teacher. And once everybody started to recognize a teacher, a trainer as a teacher, the whole organization started to value learning and training. And in the end, learning and training changed everybody's life. Everybody became happier and happier and more and more successful. So this experience inspired my dissertation idea. And in this patriarchal world, instead of possibly waiting for the top-down salvation from the management, a woman can use our language, can use our self-discourse to manage our life and change our destiny. So in my dissertation, I plan to interview 30 female leaders and analyze their self-discourse system. And I will use critical discourse analysis to analyze to what extent a woman talks to herself can impact her life and the world. And I will start with this question. Who do you think you are? Thank you. Thank you.